This is the plaintiff, Jennifer Haskamp. She says she was driving eastbound and the defendant was traveling westbound and made a drastic turn at the last minute and they collided. The defendant refuses to pay her for the damages she caused. She was cited by the cops in the accident and she's here suing for the $2,095.55 worth of damages she incurred. This is the defendant, Michelle Winsett. She says the plaintiff went through a red light and T-boned her as she was entering her complex. The woman hit it with such force it broke her axle and the tire fell off. The cops drove by and wrote up an incident report, but no citations. The woman's now harassing her because the insurance company denied her claim. So here they are. She's accused of turning too early. All parties, please raise your right hands. You see it? Come forward, please. Litigants have been sworn in. Thank you, Douglas. You're Jennifer open. Haskamp? Yes. Ma'am. You are suing Michelle Winsett for $2,095.55 in uh, damages that you incurred as a result of, according to you, her negligently crashing into you. Yes, you're right. All right. Or causing a cra- car crash. What happened? We were driving opposite directions on the same roadway. Okay, why don't you come on over here and pick a car and... Pick a car, all right. Yeah. Let's see. I was driving westbound, so this would be my vehicle here. Okay, so grab one of those two cars that are right there and make, make one of them you. Got I'm right you. about there. Okay. Uh, she was here, getting ready to make a left-hand turn into what was oncoming traffic. Okay, you're the oncoming traffic. I am the oncoming traffic. Okay, Hold on. Hold on we'll one second. Right oh, and you yep, we'll do it from there. Sure. Okay. All right. Um, so as I'm coming through here, she goes ahead and makes this left-hand turn. I was about to T-bone her like this, but I mitigated damages by trying to go this way. Are you an attorney? No, but I have studied paralegal studies. Okay. <laughs> um, so I tried to mitigate. I found very few litigants use the term mitigated damages in the middle of explaining a car crash. Go ahead. Well, I Usually it would be so I swerved, but go ahead. Damage. <laughs> okay. Um, but it, we did strike uh, the front passenger side of my vehicle hit the rear of her. Okay. When you say we, who else was in the car? Oh, we as in the defendant and I. Oh, okay. We struck. Okay, okay. All right. Go ahead and uh, go back. Okay. All right, so what happens after this shock of the accident? You both get out of your car? Right. Okay, and what happens? I looked at the de- defendant and I asked her if she was okay. She said she was a little shaken. Um, so I went ahead and gave her a hug. Oh. I said, let's mm-hmm. check out the damages. Did that really happen? Did she give you a hug? No, she did not give me oh, a hug. Oh, she didn't. Oh, no, okay. She did not. Well, I got this warm, fuzzy feeling and no, now it's going to. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you know, go ahead. All right. Uh, so we investigated the damages and uh, she got on the phone and called her significant other and her sister. I got on the phone and called my significant other and a friend showed up as well. Okay. Um, and then the, did the police come? The police did come. They took about an hour and a half to do so. Mm-hmm. Um, in the meantime, uh, her significant other showed up on the scene and expressed an interest in paying for the damages without involving the police or the court systems. Okay. Um, my insurance company had suggested I call the police, so that's what I did. Um, I don't carry collision on my vehicle. So, uh, whatever conversation. What kind of vehicle is this? It's a 1998 Ford Taurus. Oh, well, I wouldn't carry collision on that either. <laughs> right. Okay. I mean, that, that, that's like as old as my teenage girls. Okay. So well, go ahead. <laughs> I inherited the vehicle from my grandmother. Right. Oh, so that's sweet. All right. So now, uh, how did the police get involved? Because my understanding is you folks were trying to, did you actually call the police or they happened by? I called the police. Okay. You did. So they come and did they, what did the police do? Uh, they basically took both of our stories and they went ahead and cited Miss Winsett for a failure to yield the right of right way and failure to carry insurance. Because she didn't have any insurance. Oh, man. Aside from the police giving her tickets, how, how were issues between the two of you resolved that day? Well, since the expression had been made that they were interested in paying in cash or in some other method without involving the courts, um, that I went ahead and wrote a promissory note. Um, Let me see the promissory note. Basically, uh, you have the original? Yes, I do. Who's the gentleman with you? Uh, this is Carlos, is my significant other, and he was a witness on the scene. Is Carlos an attorney? No. Okay. 
Okay, is this your handwriting? That is mine. That is the best handwriting I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. This is a promissory note to which I, Michelle Winsett, do agree. This is you writing this, right? Yes, ma'am. By my own free will to pay for the repairs to the vehicle belonging to yada yada, the details of the vehicle, the plate which was involved in a collision with mine on such and such a date. The vehicle will be repaired and towed if necessary as soon as is reasonably possible and paid for in full by me. They accept all liability. Um, signed and agreed, Michelle Winsett, and there purports to be your signature, and then the signature of a witness, Carlos. Okay. Sorry. What happened? Tell me about the car accident. You want to co- Actually, I'd like you to come over and you can... Okay, so you're the red car. Put the right. red car back where the turn signal is. Put her back and tell me how the accident happened. I, this is where I saw her. I don't know if she was originally in this lane. That's where I saw her. This is a turn signal. I live there. I turn all the time. I was coming home from physical therapy. I, a turn signal means an arrow? Yes, the green So arrow. then the arrow lights up and it's red for everybody else? Yes. Okay, go on. Yes. I was right here. Well, I guess it was about right here. Because where she hit me was right there. She hit okay. me in the center. Because she completely... If you had the arrow, why did you sign this? I didn't sign that. That's not my signature. I did not sign that. She gave that to my sister. I talked to the police officer. She said I did not have to sign it. And he said if I did sign it... Did your it, sister sign it? Um, no, my no. sister. No, 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 no. Nobody said they're signed forging it. it? I, di- I didn't touch it. I told her I wouldn't touch it. I never touched that. Did paper. the police give her the ticket for running? Because what you're saying is she ran a red light. She did run the red okay, light. Okay, who got the tickets? I got a citation because I didn't have insurance. Did you get a citation for not yielding the right of way? Yes, yeah, I, <laughs> I did. How can you get the citation for not yielding the right of way if she is the one who got who didn't yield the right of way? Go ahead and go. I, I she- tend to believe there's no arrow there. If the police officer gave is. you the there ticket, is. there is an arrow there. Why would he give you the ticket? The police officer wasn't called. He was driving by. He was there for about 20 minutes. He came in. He talked to her. He talked to me. I didn't have insurance. He automatically just wrote the citation and he left. No, I, he definitely should automatically write the citation right. for insurance. Right. Right. But if I he agree. wasn't there, he doesn't know who, who didn't have the right of way because there's either an arrow there or there's not an arrow there. Do you have any evidence about whether there's an arrow there? I sure do. You do? Yes, I, I do. I thought you might. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if you'd like to see a copy of the signature on her driver's license, but it does match that of the promissory note. That driver's license was signed, I don't know how long ago, and I don't know if that matches whatever she has on that paper because I've never seen it. That's what but she I presented she on site. But you were re- <laughs> But I did not sign did that paper. I swear to God, I did not sign that paper. I don't know if it matches it. I can't tell. I refused to sign it to her, which is why she gave it to my sister. Okay, let me see the police report. Sure, it's right here. I want to know why the officer. All right, give me a second to look through this. Vehicle one was stopped at the intersection. Vehicle two was traveling eastbound. Vehicle one initiated a left turn, violating vehicle two's right of way. The right front collected, both of them moved out of the grass. What was she saying on the scene? Um, Pretty much, she didn't believe it was her fault. I knew it was, I wasn't gonna argue with her over that at that point in time. Oh, this stuff about her hugging you, according to you, that never happened? No, she didn't hug me. Okay. Was it hostile between you two out there? No, no, it wasn't. I was when upset. When your significant was, we other came upset. out, was he attempting to negotiate it? No, he was talking about my car. That was my ex-boyfriend, which is my daughter's father, who um, I called because I didn't know what to do because she said she didn't want police, she didn't want anybody, and I agreed with that because I didn't have insurance. My car... Um, well, so why wouldn't she want police? Well, I guess you can ask her that because okay, she didn't why seem wouldn't to be you very want police? sober when she... When Watch I, this. Why okay. didn't you want, want police? That's not true. I had called the police. Right, so I'm but asking she didn't you, why didn't she want police? She looked very much either she was drunk or she was on something else. Why didn't they give her a citation? I have no idea. The police just have it in for you? I can't, you know, I don't even know. And the speed if she didn't think it was her fault, car. why did, would she sign this? And by the way, I have to tell you, I don't think the signatures look that much alike. Uh, who crossed out the address and then put a different address? The defendant did. What, what was the address on your... Okay, your license has uh, Missouri... Correct. Okay, where did this happen? In on Florida. On Clubview Drive. How long had you been living in Florida? Um, I have been at that address for almost a year. If your license didn't have your Florida address, mm-hmm. and your Florida address is handwritten here in a handwriting different than the paralegal's block handwriting... Who knew your address and wrote this down here, if not you? What address does that say? I have have, honestly, I've never seen that. I don't know. It says 1300 Avenue, Orlando, Florida. 
at the time of the accident, I lived at 2956. Who is at 1300? I don't know. I live at 1900. Who? Is, you're not listening to my question. I don't know who lives at that address. I don't okay. know. It's not me. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So the question, um, if a cop cites one person in an accident, does that person automatically lose in court? I would think so because they would go and take the cop's side no matter what usually. Oh, so they would always take the cop's side. What do you say? I'd agree. They, really? Yeah, I think they would. Would they always take the cop's side? I would think so. Why? Why, why do you think the judge is always going to side with the cops? I'm not sure. Because they're supposed to uphold the law and not supposed to lie. Then the question is, what's the law going inside the courtroom? Did you serve process on her at 1300 Avenue? No, ma'am. The reason why I was unable to is because that is a dirt lot. I've never What was the address. original address? Somebody had an original address and then that got crossed out. And then, oh. Now, 2956 Drive is the address of the complex that I lived in when she hit me. And then that got crossed out by someone with a different handwriting than her and a dirt road address got written in? I There's live at 1900 Avenue currently. Why would she write year. in the address of a dirt road? I don't know. That's not my address. No, the only person with a motive to cross out the address and write in the address of a dirt road would be the person who doesn't want to get pinned with the accident, who doesn't want the police there, who doesn't have, is driving without insurance, and who is driving without a valid Florida license. I find your credibility to be extremely suspect. Okay. The amount you're asking for is more than the value of your car. Sentimental value because grandma gave it to you doesn't count. I'm referring to Kelly Blue Book. Is there any way to look at the damage of her car, too? Because the only damage to her car was the right front light. Oh, no. She busted you, it. Stop she talking. Stop talking. Because the damage that I saw was severe enough where it's at least the value of the car. So I'm totaling it out. She totaled my car as well when she hit it. Good. She ran the light. I'm glad that there was some deficit to you for an accident that you caused. So if you think I'm going to sit here and nickel and dime her when you've committed perjury in my courtroom no fewer than three times, didn't you have get out of my courtroom. Get out, 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 just get out, get out, get out, get out. I didn't even No, 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 no,